for them to when they getting in this country because they're great martial artists. And I wrote the letter and I said uh, to the government, hasta luego, ciao. <laughs> so uh, I wrote, what do you want to let these people in for? Because men wrestle with women. This is Los Angeles, not San Francisco. <laughs> and Carlos, the older brother, is in Texas. He looks at it like I thought he was going to cry. And he turned it over, then I wrote a legitimate one. Those kids are good. All of the Machados. Egan, uh, Carlos. They're all good guys. I used to go there and fool around when they first came in the country. And I enjoyed it. They're very nice. I taught them to be, speak Portuguese. <laughs> and, uh, Did I say that right? Como vai to the bang. Uh, what I did is I got a friend of mine from Brazil, and he'd call him up and he'd say it was me. He'd talk to him for 20 minutes in Portuguese. <laughs> and then when I come down there, he says, this is Mr. LaBelle, he speaks Portuguese. <laughs> and he'd say, and I'd say, come by to the bank, but we're in the United States, we speak English. <laughs> and that's all I knew, and that and chow to get out of the school. <laughs> How long did they believe that? Well, uh, uh, there was a sneaky guy named Carlos. His real name is Carlos, but he goes under the screen name of, well, which is Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah. And Chuck worked with him. He says, Gene, he has a tendency to lie and spread the truth. But Chuck worked would be with me for a long time on the mat. Very, very good martial artist and a great grappler. And people don't know that. They think of him just being a karate guy. Yeah, I've seen videos. Oh, man. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a good actor, good martial did artist. Ever, did, did Chuck ever become black belt in jiu-jitsu? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. How about JKD grappling? J G Kondo's former grappling. I know. Belt degrees never meant anything to me. It's uh, who's got the most, the best motorcycle, or as we say in the acting world, the one that gets the right. most residuals <laughs> wins. It's like saying the guy that dies with the most toys wins. He got a lot of toys. Uh, yeah, Chuck's a great guy. I bet the. Some of my closest friends are martial artists. As you can see, I don't have many friends. But you talk about Danny. Uh, his teacher was uh, Lee, you know, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee trained with me for a year, uh, grappling. And a lot of people didn't like him and his uh, gung fu because he would do things that weren't traditional in gung fu. But he, was a good, he became a good grappler. Terrific guy, except they put too much stir starch in my shirts. I hate that. I said, Bruce, stop it. Oh, uh, Larry Hartzell. Larry Hartzell, a uh, great guy. Really a good martial artist. He worked with uh, uh, Bruce, and he worked with me. Wonderful wife. Uh, he died a little too soon. And great teacher, great teacher, Larry. And uh, I miss him. I miss everybody that's died and used to take me to lunch. <laughs> I'll buy you lunch anytime.